All right, I wanted to go over the new Slugger nerf, as this was definitely one of the weapons that I enjoyed using the most in Helldivers, so let's go over the patch notes here. Firstly, they reduced the stagger. There isn't any numbers here, so this wasn't a specific amount that they are wanting to say. I think they did this on purpose, and I think they need to rephrase this a bit to, this is remove, because this can't interrupt Biospheres anymore, and it does not stop stalkers from yeeting you into the nearest rock. When something is hit with this weapon, it no longer stops for any noticeable period of time. Second, the damage was reduced from 280 to 250. This is almost not noticeable. You can still take out all the automatons you were able to before in one shot to the head. You can also take out scout striders still if you hit them about four to five times in the leg area. This also applies to bugs, so brood commanders take two shots to the head and it's off. Hunters are still one shot if you get a good shot, and you can take out a hive guard in about four well-aimed shots to the front armor. So I didn't really notice a difference as far as the damage goes, even though there was a physical number different. Next, they reduce the demolition force. This means that you can no longer open containers using this weapon. I know a few people are not very happy with that change. I never really used this feature much myself, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference to me personally. Lastly, they did fix the armor penetration tag in the menu. So this now correctly displays that it does medium armor penetration. I'm not sure why this wasn't implemented in the first place. This honestly seems like it was a mistake with how the gun was made, and it penetrated more than it should have, but instead of attempting to correct it by lowering the penetration, they went the easier path just to label it correctly with how it's behaving on missions. I can't say that for sure, but that is what it seems like to me personally, and also from a development standpoint, that probably makes it easier to relabel it rather than recreate the actual armor penetration that it does, at least from what I can see. I don't really think the gun deserved these kinds of nerfs aside from the breaking containers really though, since nothing else primary wise can do that, so that makes sense as to why breaking containers was nerfed, but my honest opinion is that they have one of two things going on. Firstly, which is the one I hope is the case, they have a plan laid out for future content and they are balancing these weapons and changing things for certain features that get added or that are part of the new enemy race that may have a bigger effect than we currently realize, and there is some sort of end game in mind. The second possibility that I can think of is that they absolutely have no idea what they're doing with balance and they are just winging these nerfs. Hear me out. They nerfed the railgun, which definitely needed to be fixed with the unsafe and safe modes for sure. Then they go and add the quasar cannon, which is basically an infinite ammo one call in time with almost no downtime, which essentially does what the railgun was doing but better. So it doesn't really make much sense to me personally why they would add something that replaces the previous meta and almost trivializes two of the other launchers being the recoilless and E17. Now, obviously, the E17 still has a little bit more benefit as far as being able to call them down and using the pod to drop on stuff, but again, like I said, it almost trivializes these two. Then we have this patch, which is now nerfing the slugger and buffing some other shotguns of choice like the Breaker Incendiary. If they end up adding a shotgun that is better than the slugger and has a similar stagger force to it pre-nerf, then I would almost honestly be convinced that they're nerfing things just to push their new weapons, and these nerfs aren't for particularly any good reason. Now, this is all speculation, of course, as I wouldn't know the answer to their patch decisions. I know that they have stated before how they decide to tune weapons, and that they make balance to make the fantasy stay alive and the gun fun, while keeping the damage and balance in check from their blog posts. But to me, the slugger didn't feel like it needed any stagger reduction or damage decrease. The normal Punisher shotgun was recently buffed to have higher damage and the highest damage number stat in the game, with the same stagger force that the slugger had, and if the stagger force was an issue, then I don't see why this weapon was previously buffed and now left alone. I don't know exactly how many players were using the slugger, as I don't have that data available, but when I would talk to others who play this game, most of them would say they dislike the slugger and stick with their breaker, scorcher, or a different weapon depending on the circumstance. I know that's a very small sample size, but I still don't see that many people running this weapon during their missions either, so it doesn't exactly make sense as to why this specifically was nerfed. Don't get me wrong, the weapon still outputs similar damage to what it did before, but the stagger was almost removed completely from what I can tell, which leads me to believe that they honestly have no idea what's going on with these balance changes, or they aren't being open about what they're actually going for in their changes. What I would personally like to see is when they do a patch, they break down in a blog post or in their Discord exactly what statistics were that caused the nerf to happen. This way there's no misunderstanding as to why something happened, like happens as far as, you know, a nerf or changes that they're thinking, so, I'm not a game dev or someone who can balance something, so I'm gonna give credit where credit is due, and they're balancing and handling a game that had a massive amount of success better than I could ever do. My only concern is that they don't seem to have all the information when it comes to balancing things, and if they were to break down the reasoning as to why they did something like this, then we as a community can point out if something is overboard or not, as they have suggested we do in their blog post, which I have linked in the description. 
Now, I know this sounds like quite a lot of complaining, but I have nothing but love for these developers. They have made a great game, and I would like it to continue being a massive amount of fun with friends and randoms alike. But I also don't want this to go down a road where it ends up not being fun anymore, as some games tend to do. Especially with this dev team being a bit on the smaller side in comparison to some, as well as the massive player base that this game has accrued that has blown their expectations out of reality. Let me know what you guys think about this patch, as well as what you think about some of their decisions when it comes to balance overall in the comments. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I will catch you on in the next one.